so real quick video today. Um, I wanted to make sure with my Cerakoted frame that I, you know, rocked it in a holster for a couple weeks. And so it's been about two to three weeks. Just to show you the difference, um, I've seen a lot of videos about how to spray paint your gun and this, that, and the other. And I want to show you why you shouldn't do that and why you should spend the extra money just to have something Cerakoted if you really want it that color. Now, that is with being said, like, if you don't think there's anything wrong with this kind of wear and you don't mind your handgun looking like this, then I mean spray paint away. The only reason I did that is because I knew that I was ordering new parts and I wanted to show the difference because I knew I was going to be having a uh, Cerakoted slide come in and then I'm going to be getting a Cerakoted frame. It's just unfortunately they've been out of stock so I have not been able to get one yet. So first I want to go over Cerakoted, not the spray paint. So. This is spray painted, so I mean you can already kind of see what's happened here. Now this has been spray painted and being used a lot more than that slide did. That slide only got used three days being spray painted. But real quick, I'll go ahead and show you. There is no magazine and there is nothing in the chamber. So let's take a look at this and you can see that there is literally no blemishes from holstering or shooting or anything on this slide. Now, and I have carried this for three weeks. Now, let's take a look at spray painted. So, right off the bat, installing the rear sights back on. Boom, that corner happened. Um, ejecting rounds and stuff. Boom, that happened. Now this splitting was from me not warming up this metal and it was a cold surface, even though it was warm outside, this particular metal surface was colder so it caused the paint to try to like separate a little bit. I've had that happen with some uh, car stuff before. But then right here, now given in right there now I have only put this in a holster probably about three times and pulled it out about three times I went to the range and shot it but it was in a case so that much wear just from barely using it so this is the reason I made this video is because I was gonna be able to make a comparison you will have to literally strip down and repaint this thing if you want it to look good spray painted probably once a week not many people have time or the desire to do that so that's the benefit you get with taking something and get it professionally cerakoted because i mean you can just see here the differences and what you're going to run into and you don't have to get some sort of wild slide. You can get a factory, anything factory on this can be Cerakoted. So there's a bunch of different companies that offer that, but I strongly recommend you going that route before you like look at spray paint. Um, I'll be stripping all that off. It's gonna go back to black. That's why I want to order another frame is I'm gonna just basically order the parts to make a second 43X since I have a spare slide. And that's gonna be my micro Roni or nano Roni gun. So that's my goal with that. Oh, and also, the paint it gets on your barrel. You're, it's gonna wear off inside of there. And it's just, it's not really the route to go. And I've just seen too many videos where people were saying, this is how you do it. It'll look good if you do this. It'll look good if you do that. It's not gonna stay looking good for long. You can get like the Brownells paint that's made for firearms. But even there, I've, I've watch different reviews and you're still gonna run into that after a short period of time. It's not like Cerakoting, so just keep that in mind. You know, be safe with your firearm, but you know, have fun with it. But I, I just don't know if I would recommend spray painting. Hope you guys found this video informational. Hit that like, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch y'all later.